Hi, this is Ant bringing you another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to basically cover interfaces or blueprint interfaces they're known. Now, I'm not talking about sort of the UI, you know, that you get on your screen, like your cursors and your stats and everything. I'm more talking about the interface, which is a way of method of communication. Now, for this particular tutorial, um, I've taken a different tact. What I've done is I've actually uh, built a lot of the blueprints first. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to explain uh, how the interface works by going through them uh, by, in the video. Um, but I will put the uh, the source files for this um, uh, project onto uh, GitHub and on the link on the video. So if you want to download them and look through them yourself, you can do that. So you can study the blueprints. Um, but mainly I'm going to use this video to uh, talk through the interface and how, th how they're used and how they can be useful. So I'll, uh, I'll get into it now. So we're going to get into Blueprint Interfaces. Now, first thing I'm going to show you is uh, one of the fall downs about casting. Now I'm not saying that casting is bad and it's useful because you can literally cast what you want, like the game modes, um, which is kind of used in this project so for a previous tutorial. Now, casting is great, but when you cast, you only target one specific thing, and it falls down when, say, you've got a trigger zone and you want it to affect multiple actors. So, say, if you wanted to basically have a player walk into an area and uh, it causes them damage or um, it restores their health, if you've got multiple um, characters with different classes, in your casting, you have to cast it every single one for them. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate that. So say if I've got my first person character here, and I say I'm going to duplicate that, and I've got a new character. It doesn't matter, it's just for demonstration purposes. So I go, oh, okay then. So how do I update um, this actor so that it can cast to that? Simply put, I'd have to cast to it again new character. Oh, okay, then well that'll work, so it will effectively target the pair of them, but it just seems a lot messier because you then have to go, okay, then as this new character, uh, get their damage start and then do this. I mean, for now I'm just using it as a print string. But there is a better way of doing that, and that's via an interface. Now an interface is, allows, is blueprint communication, and you can place it onto any actor or anything you want. Um, so instead of casting, use the interface, and then you can get place the interface on both your first person character and your new character. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate that now. So I'm going to go into the menu, blueprint interface, and I'm going to call this new interface test. Okay. And it'll come up with basically the same sort of graph as you get in your, your main one. Now, you'll come up with your functions. So, I'm going to call this uh, trigger character. So, essentially, what you have is basically a generic event. Um, it's got no callbacks, it's got no inputs or outputs, but uh, it's a simple event system. So if I go into my first person character, class settings, and then you go into there and I'll go to new interface test, hit compile, and I'll just scroll to the top here, event trigger character, okay. So, I'm just going to use strings for now, to keep it nice and simple. Enter so. Okay. So, if I then go into the trigger area, let's disconnect these, we don't need them. Delete that. And move this all out of the way. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to call my trigger something. Now if you look under the event interface you'll see it there which is message. And there you have it. So if I just go and quickly go into the new character class settings add the interface here and then type trigger something or trigger character as I call it. 
You'll now see it's a trigger, uh, event trigger character from the interface test. Print string. New character. Presented so. I'm just going to, for clarity, I'm just going to make that into a bit of a. Yeah, I'll do. And that's flash red, so it stands out when I do this for testing. So, I'll show first guess blue character first. something else the other interface I was messing around with. There you go. First person centered so you'll see it pop up there just in the top left of the window. So exit that. Change that to the new character. And now you see new characters entered so so straight away from that one trigger zone you've gone from a cast to an interface and you're able to create as many characters as you want. So casting isn't bad. It, you know, it's I'm not going to lie. It's useful, especially when you need to get the game mode or anything. You know, it's it's useful. But when you start to deal with multiple act uh, actors and characters, it, it falls down because you have to cast to each one. So the interface is a really quick and easy way of communicating with all of that. Now you can add any sort of information you want. Uh, inputs and outputs, um, which I'm going to demonstrate in the other characters. Um, so, what I did was I created a derived class called Interface Test, and what I've done is I've added the event interface into here. So the event was called Trigger Something. It's all in the uh, blueprints. So when you, if you download the project files, you can look yourself. And what I've done is I've created two child child classes: Character One, Character Two. So if we go into character one, connect that up, delete that, that's an old one, don't need that. And trigger one is trigger something, so that's basically a new one. Drag that in. Hit play. So we can't start dying up. My mistake, I didn't change the character. Character 1 has entered the zone. Go to character 2, which also has the, the interface, because it's inherited it, so you can call it. Character 2 has entered the zone. So, pretty much that's it for the interfaces. Um, there is one more thing I'd like to show you before I close the video and leave it there. Um, another useful function. Uh, that you can have with the interface is the fact that you can call information back from it. So I created a trigger 2 and this one returns a value from the character as well so in this case uh, character 1 and character 2 have been given a basically a health amount um, set at 100. Now what will happen is if I place this in the world here, just to the right, change it to, in fact I'll keep it on character 2, it doesn't matter. And I enter this zone, just to make sure I've got trigger 2. It's a bit messy, but it'll do. Set to true. Now that should, because that's fired there. That's true. 
yeah, that was my fault. The callback was basically blocking it because I didn't set a boolean inside the callback and when the trigger fired it basically fell flat there because it said it was false. That's why it didn't print a string. But from that sort of function you can sort of say well okay then I want to check something in the actor and then I want to do something to myself by the, by the callback. I need to do something here instead. So I've checked it's full health and I've basically printed out the stats. Um, but the this isn't directly affecting the other actor unless I started pulling off functionality here, but it's returning information instead rather than firing off an event, it's actually calling back the information from the, the targeted actor, in this case character two. Now the best thing I would advise is um, just obviously I've come through a lot and it's a bit of a long video and I've probably waffled on quite a long time but um, maybe download the uh, project files and have a look yourself if you're not sure and I'll also link to the um, Unreal uh, website as well um, but like I say um, it's worth having a little test with the interface and see what you can do um, basically the possibilities are endless you can say create a health pickup station which um, does a callback to the character that's entered it to see if it's full back if it's got full health or not and whether to grant that power up to that particular character or if the character that's entered the health is actually something that can gain health so you know there's the possibilities with interfaces are better and it's a lot more flexible than casting as well um, you can basically have one interface that can go on anything you want anything that can be damaged anything that can be repaired or ha gain health uh, just you know, have a think of what you could use it for. So this is Ant signing off for this uh, tutorial. So I hope you find it useful. And like I say, I will let up the the files uh, to GitHub so you can have a look yourself. Uh, thank you for watching.